is going to be a short follow-up to my last video where I used Dear I Am GUI to make a little slider where I could control the scale of an actor. Now this scaling of an actor was just a way of demonstrating one possible use for I Am GUI in an Unreal Engine application, uh, but it was pointed out to me that the, the way that I coded this scaling uh, only would work when you had a single um, one of these actors in the scene. So it's this actor that has the I am GUI code associated with it. And if I add a second actor, which also has that same code in it, what we'll see is that we get one I am GUI window, which has two sliders in it, but it only actually affects one of the two objects. So there's definitely something wrong with the code that I created and I can just show you how I fix that. So if we go to the code, um, initially what I was using for keeping track of the scale and changes to the scale were static variables on the tick function. And those, one of those, the scale variable was being passed to this slider float of I am GUI. And um, by making them static here, uh, that's going to be problematic. I really want these to actually be properties that are separate to each object. So the first fix here is to um, take away those static variables. I still want the scale and this old scale, but I'm just going to have them over here. You can see I have them commented out here. I'm going to put them as protected properties of this object. So every instance of an I am GUI actor or our blueprint version of our I am GUI actor is going to have its own scale and old scale. The other thing that was problematic was that for I am GUI, when we begin an I am GUI window, we give it a name. And if that name is the same for all of the actors, well, then they're all going to be interacting with the same window. So it's like that window is uh, name is a way of identifying a unique I am GUI window. So instead of giving them all the same name, what I can do here is I can get the current actors label and then use that as the string to identify the I am GUI window. And just notice that I'm getting this label, which is an F string, and then to convert it to uh, what begin expects, which is, is a, um, you know, a char star or just, you know, a literal string, uh, I can take my label and I can convert it to, um, from a T char to ANSI. So that's just a little, uh, data manipulation trick that needs to be done. With those things in place, though, uh, I now have the support for multiple actors in my scene. So there's my two actors. I can recompile my code here. And the only problem we're going to see is that both of the windows have appeared in the same place. And so I just need to move one separately. That's this one here. You can see now each of the windows is named after the label of the actor. You can see that happening here. And they each provide independent control of the scale of their specific actor. The only other thing I should mention here is that this label is only available in development builds. And so if you wanted something like this functionality in a production build, you'd need some other way of uniquely identifying uh, the image GUI windows, uh, maybe resorting to using uh, like the U object uh, unique ID. All right, that's all I wanted to clarify with you for today. I've updated the GitHub repo associated with this project. And so if you want to get the code from there, a link to that repo can be found in the video description. See you next time.